Hi my dear friends in this video we are going to discuss about few numerical concepts numerical concepts on synchronous speed let's see first of all whatever the question what they given in our examination we need to know the synchronous speed for that question first of all for example synchronous speed formula in generally they will ask you for 50 hertz so we need to know for 50 hertz all these values for example two poles for two poles 120 f by p if you calculated 3000 is the rpm if the number of poles doubled if the number of poles doubled the synchronous speed will be halved what will be the synchronous speed ns is equals to 120 f by p for ones a for threes a so what will be the answer 1500 rpm if the number of poles doubled speed halved if the number of poles triple then the speed 1 by 3 1 by 3 times of 3000 1000 rpm we can like that otherwise you can calculate if the number of poles are doubled the synchronous speed halved from 4 pole to 8 pole 1500 to 750 if the number of poles 10 then the synchronous speed 120 f by p 00, zero cancel 512 are 60 600 rpm for 12 pole if you calculate you can get 500 rpm like that you need to know all these so for 50 hedges what will be the maximum speed the maximum speed is the 3000 rpm is the maximum for 60 hedges also you need to know for 60 hedges its value 3600 this value 1800 this value 1200 this value 900 this value 720 and for 12 poles 600 you need to know for 60 edges also okay then after for example they will ask you a question like this if uh, frequency and number of poles halved then the synchronous speed will be what will be the synchronous speed formula ns is equals to 120 f frequency halved f by 2 and number of poles also halved p by 2 2 to cancel again 120 f by p so if the frequency and number of poles halved the synchronous speed no change then after they will ask you question like this frequency number of poles and load halved and load so tell me ns is equals to 120 that is f by 2 and p by 2 what about load there is no any load components here so these two gets cancelled again the value is same 120 f by p no change again then what about the load actually the synchronous speed independent of load our synchronous speed independent of load even the load increases decreases the synchronous speed will not change for example they asked you question a 50 hedge ac machine having six number of poles if rotor speed 1000 rpm 970 rpm 1050 rpm then what it will be option a induction motor option b induction generator synchronous machine like that they will ask you question so first of all we need to know the synchronous speed synchronous speed actually the people will try to calculate for 50 at just six pole uh, 120 f uh, and uh, six uh, and don't do all these just try to remember first of all for 50 hedges for six pole thousand rpm of course you can derive but you may do any mistakes in your examination this is ultimately you need to know the values for two pole to 12 pole for 50 hedges and 60 hedges if you do few few numerical questions that will be very easy you can remember easily so synchronous speed thousand if the rotor speed also 1000 that is called synchronous machine if the rotor speed less than 1000 that is called induction motor 
if the rotor speed greater than synchronous speed that is called induction generator induction generator that's very simple you can calculate easily for example a synchronous generator having eight poles which rotating at 900 rpm then its frequency they asked in reverse so tell me what will be the answer the speed they given 120 rpm ns is equals to 120 f by p i know the p value so 0 0 cancel 4 2 is a and 4 3 is a 3 1 is a 3 30 is a so 2 will come here so frequency f is equals to 60 hedges but if you know for 60 hedges for 60 hedges the synchronous speeds see here for 60 hedges 8 pole 900 rpm i already given so just by, by, by just when you saw the question you will deliver your answer if you know these values perfectly otherwise you need to recheck again you need to calculate again every second is important for us in our competitive examinations one second will decides your life Okay, guys. So, simply 8 pole 900 RPM, nothing but 60 edges. Otherwise, you can calculate easily. So, like a few numerical questions they are asking in our competitive examinations. This is what exactly the numerical questions concepts based on synchronous speed. Thank you.